Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. Child of God, today let's talk about adoption. If you don't have a kid, there is something you can do, that is, take up a child of someone else and help train that person. I'm talking about adoption today because it's the feast of Saint Joseph, the father of Jesus. Did you know that Jesus was only the child of Joseph by adoption? Because the Bible tells us that Mary conceived the child that she had in her by the power of the Holy Spirit. So if we look at today's gospel, which is taken from Matthew chapter 1, from verses 16 to 24, what we find is a story where Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, and before they came to live together, she was found to be with child. And Joseph, being a man of honor, being a just man, did not want to, rebu- uh, to, to denounce Mary publicly. So she had made, he had made his own arrangements to send her away quietly respect the law on the one hand but also to preserve her life on the other hand because in those days when a woman was found to be with a child before marriage she was stoned to death so what happened here is that joseph was trying to be a good man as well as a reasonable man so it's good to respect the law it's good to be a good person but it's also good to be reasonable to always know that human life is above every law so what joseph then does is that he makes this secret plan but before he was able to realize this plan the angel of the lord appeared to him and told him to keep the child that mary carried in her that is jesus because that child was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. So effectively, Joseph adopts Jesus and becomes his foster father. And I know that there are a lot of researches that show that Mary is probably also from the lineage of David. But for Joseph, we don't need any research. It's in the scripture. Joseph is from the lineage of David. So just from Joseph alone, from the fact that he adopted Jesus as his foster son, Jesus is the Messiah because he's from the line of David. So child of God, what I want to show to you here is that there is power in adoption. How many kids today would have had a better life if only you and I would agree to participate in their lives as father figures, as mother figures, as uh, parental figures, as people who are willing to either pay for their school fees, to feed them, to take them in, to take care of them. I think this message is more important than ever. Of course, it has a huge theological implication, that is that Jesus is the Son of God, our Savior, but it also has a very social dimension, which is inviting all of us to look out for those children who have no one to take care of them. So, child of God, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph today, let's remember that he is the father of Jesus only by adoption, and that is not a little thing. If you adopt a child today, you can change the lives of generations to come if you're able to change the life of just that one child. The Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.